Hi everyone out there. Welcome to the 50th millionth day in April, whatever day this is. I hope you're all safe. I hope you're all home. I'm going to show you how to make a Bloody Mary. However, we're not going to use one of those pre-canned or pre-bottled tomato juices. I love Bloody Marys. However, I stopped drinking them because the sodium content in those pre-bottled tomato juices is astronomical. Okay. And nobody wants that water retention bloat the next day. I don't know about you, but I don't. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with some fresh tomatoes. You could use Roma. You could use beefsteak. You could use heirloom, whatever you want. I like to use these little cherry tomatoes because they're sweet and I like the way the colors look in the glass. So I've got one, two, three, four. I'm going to do five of these. I am going to actually get a bit of the rind of the lemon. Okay. I'm putting this in there also. And now I'm going to actually squeeze some lemon juice in there. All right. We've got the lemon juice in there. Okay. So for now, I'm just going to muddle this together. Okay. <sighs> Remember when you used to go to bars and people used to make drinks for you? Remember that, babe? I don't remember that at all. You don't? It's been what, like three weeks? Oh my God, it's been, I don't know. I, I don't even know how long it's been. It's been a very long time, but there was a time when I used to go sit down somewhere and I used to order a drink and somebody used to bring it to me. What? And now I've become that person. Okay, so we have our tomato and lemon mixture in here, as you see. I'm gonna drop this right into, really oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. Great. It looks like a fresh, mm, I could drink this just like that. Um, I am going to put this right into the glass. I'm going to pour this right into the glass that we're going to use for the drink. There we go. And we're going to put this aside for a second. Next, I'm going to muddle some jalapenos. Now, as I've mentioned in the past, I like my drinks to be super spicy and super sour, just like my personality. John? I didn't say that. Okay, whatever. <laughs> comment on that. So actually, before I put the vodka in, I've got four slices of jalapeno. This is where you're going to control how much salt is in this drink. I always say invest in a good coarse salt. Okay. I'm going to put this much, but two of this much, whatever this much is. Okay. Here you go. I don't know the proper name for it. You get what I'm saying. A scotch, a scotch of salt. And then I'm also going to add pepper. Okay. I'm going to add pepper to the finished product also. All right. How much pepper is entirely up to you. All right. Now is what I'm going to add the vodka. As I've mentioned in the past, these are about two ounces. So two ounces is about what you would get in a drink. If I'm not mistaken, if you were out, but you know me, I have a heavy pour. I'm one of those really nice bartenders. So I'm going to do like three and three quarters. Okay. Now I'm going to muddle this together. All right. This... A muddling song. Oh, I know. What's the muddling song? You should make one up right now. Uh... Muddling we go. We're muddling. Muddling is not modeling. That has, uh, that makes zero sense. I don't know. I'll come up with a good one by the next <laughs> cocktail okay. video modeling i can't sing it can be befuddling and modeling modeling yeah. all right yeah okay so oh you know what oh where is my little okay you could tell that we are doing this on the fly because i needed my little strainer that was still in the dishwasher okay all right all right all right, we got our strainer. It's hot. I just got it out of the dishwasher. <laughs> okay. So, you know what? I'm going to muddle this a little bit longer. So remember, we are muddling the jalapeno, the salt, the tequila, and the pepper. Okay. I'm going to add more lemon juice to this. Listen, some people like to add horseradish. Did you hear how I said that? Horseradish? <laughs> or um, simple syrup. I do not like my Bloody Marys to have anything sweet in them. So I, I don't have any horseradish. It's why I'm not adding it. But simple syrup is a, is a no for me. So it's why I'm not adding it. But you're free to. 
you know, if you can't handle the bite of the Bloody Mary, add some, you know, sweetness to it. Okay, we're gonna strain this into the glass. Okay. I'm going to add some ice. Should really gotten a spoon for this. All right. Okay. I'm gonna add some ice. More ice. Just get in there. There we go. Okay, and I'm actually going to stir this, okay? Because you wanna try and bring some of the tomatoes up there. It looks really pretty. Get in there. All right, and to finish this off, we are of course gonna have to add, you know, the garnishes. Ooh, all right. So I don't like to just put a celery stalk. I like to put, you know, the whole damn celery in there. There we go. So we're going to grab a couple of olives, a little cornichon, and we are ready to try our fresh Bloody Mary. Oop, hold on, just kidding. I was gonna add some more pepper to that. Look how refreshing that looks. How come it's kind of red like a Bloody Mary? Because it doesn't have the tomato juice. It's just muddled tomatoes, remember? Actually, okay. Oh, this is so good. It's so good and it's not super salty. You can drink plenty of these and not you know, have that weird bloat, water retention bloat the next day. I mean, I'm not telling you to over drink, but I'm just saying you could have more of these than, you know, the regular ones, in my opinion. Mm. Super refreshing, really nice, uh, very easy to make. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm enjoying all of your videos and all your pictures of your food posts and drink posts. Have a great evening. I wish you guys health and uh, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.